Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video. A fresh new day and a fresh new ROM. So today in this video, I'll show you guys how to install the Viper OS which is based on Android 8.1 on Redmi Note 3. So without further delay, let's make it happen. All the important links to flash this ROM will be listed in the description box below. So do not worry. Download the files from the description and make sure you are doing it on your own risk. So as you can see, I am on AOKP ROM right now. So let me boot the phone into TWRP recovery. As you can see, I am using official TWRP recovery version 3.2.1.0 here. So now hit wipe. Now advanced wipe. Now select cache, Dalby cache, system and data. Now swipe to wipe. Once done, go back, go back, now hit install. Here we need the ROM file, the gapps file and latest magisk zip file. Actually the developer recommended to flash the magisk zip file after the first boot of this ROM. So that's why I am flashing the ROM and gapps for now. Once done, hit reboot system. Here is the boot animation of Viper OS. Pretty cool. So as we are booted up into the system, let me complete the setup process. Here we have pixel launcher as default launcher. I think it's differently modded one. These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with. Except UC browser, it's there because I am restoring Google App Data Backup. You can swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel. Here is how it looks like. We have night mode here and some other quick toggles. The night mode over here is working fine, no issues. Only thing I couldn't find is option to disable heads up. Here is the stock launcher settings if you are into that. Now let's jump into the about section. Here it says AOSVP on the top. It's the 21st February 2018 build by the way. By tapping on the version it gets you to the Viper OS logo which looks like this. As you can see the stock kernel over here is shadow kernel. And the security patch level is 5th of this month. Now let's go back inside settings we have Venom. Inside that we will find the customizations. In quick settings we have brightness slider and icon both enabled. But sadly the slide a finger to adjust the brightness feature on the status bar is not present in this ROM. Inside status bar we have option to enable AOSVP logo, carrier label options and double tap to sleep. Which works fine as you can see. Now let me go back, we have battery style, you can change the battery style to normal, landscape or circle, big circle, dotted circle or even big dotted circle. I am good with the big dotted circle one and you have option to enable or disable the battery percentage. Next we have clock options, from here you can change the clock position like this, enable seconds or AM PM or whatever you wanna do with time and date to show up in the status bar. Lastly, we have network traffic indicator. Now let's move to recents. Here as you can see, we have the clear all button, which is this, pretty useful stuff. After that, in lock screen under misc, we have option to change shortcuts, double tap to sleep on the lock screen and fingerprint authentication by brushel. In system, we have style. From here, you can change the whole UI color to dark or black and change the accent color too. Like this, as you can see, I have changed it to dark. Next, we have navigation bar and hardware keys control. After that, we have sound and notification. And then we have power menu option. From here, you can enable advanced reboot and stuff. And here I tried to install the modded pixel launcher that I use on every other ROM, but sadly, it was not installing like the pixel experience ROM. Now let me flash the magisk zip file 
As the developer says, it's recommended to flash after the first boot. To do that, just boot into TWRP recovery, flash magic installer zip file and reboot, that's it. Now let me install the latest magic manager app. Now let me open the app itself and check if the safety net is working fine or not. Yes, it's working super fine and I even tried Google Tez app later, it's working fine for me. So you can use pretty much all the banking apps on this ROM. Now let me set up the face unlock and see if instant face unlock works fine or not. And the answer is yes, instant or quick face unlock is working super fine on this ROM. Now let me take some quick pictures with GC Mod 5 app. Here is a picture with HDR plus enhanced mode. And here is a front camera portrait picture. And yes, Geo4G Vault E calling is working fine on this ROM. Here is a demo of the same. Here are the end-to-end -end Geekbench scores for this ROM, if you are into that. Now, let me open up a few apps to show you guys the RAM management of this ROM. In the meantime, let's talk about some important things about this ROM. Yes, faulty calling, data, Wi-Fi, APC pigment scanner, camera, torch, hotspot, etc. are working fine in this ROM. But there are certain things that bugs me while using this ROM. I will talk about them but before that as you can see all the apps are in memory so no issues with RAM management. Now let me talk about the things I did not like. First if you start watching a YouTube video and press the volume up button this beep sounds irritating to me as it's affecting the experience of watching a video. Next. I faced this issue while setting up the Google Assistant, like three of the keywords of OK Google and Hey Google is done and then it says trouble with the microphone and try again later. Yes I did set it up after a lot of trying but I had to say OK Google for at least like 20 times or so which is annoying. And there is no option for status bar icons so I couldn't find the option to enable headset icon in customizations. So I had to turn on system UI tuner first and then it worked fine. Yup, these issues can be fixed in future updates. But if you can live with the things I mentioned, you can give this ROM a try. And I will talk about the battery life later on Twitter, so do follow me there from the descriptions. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you love my work. This has been Tito from Carry and Dick signing off. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now.